Hello, members and friends of St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Salem, Oregon. My name is Paul Clemmy. I'm the director of music here at the parish. I'm coming to you again with another music ministry message. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the new organ at St. Paul's. Yes, believe it or not, we have now another pipe organ at the church. So this makes three pipe organs that we have on the campus. I can't believe it. It is such a rich blessing. I think that you all know the organ that's behind me, the one that you hear all the time. That organ was put in in 1975. And in 1990, the chapel organ was put in and was funded and underwritten by the May Dudley family. This organ has come to us recently in January of 2020. It has come to us from First Presbyterian Church in Salem. This particular organ was offered to us as a place to have a new home. It was not being used at the church, and so I said that I would be happy to take it and to give it some time to, to settle in and to have a chance to play it for services and other concerts. So the organ that you see in front of you, this is a positive organ. Positive means that it is an organ that's in place, it's unto itself constructed, and is self-sufficient even though it's a very small instrument. Uh, sometimes known as a positive organ or positive organ, there's different pronunciations. Also known as a portative organ in that the organ can be moved. This particular organ happens to be on wheels and can be moved in and out of the church or in different places in the church, depending on where we need it. So as you can see, uh, this organ is very, very small compared to the one we have here at the church already. It was built in 1988 by Richard Bond, who's out of Portland, Oregon. The Wolf family in Salem gave this to First Presbyterian Church in 1988. Now it is at home here at St. Paul's, and the May Dudley family, both Eric and Carol, underwrote the cost to bring it here to St. Paul's now in 2020. Now this is a pipe organ, and it's a mechanical action pipe organ. So it's all contained here. The blower is inside of the instrument, and as you can see, there's a rank of pipes here. These are wooden pipes. These are the largest pipes in the organ. There are yet three more ranks behind these pipes that are made of aluminum and tin. And I'm going to show the camera inside uh, the organ in here in just a little bit. So this organ would be used for chamber music, mostly Baroque music. It's an ideal organ for playing uh, Bach cantatas and that sort of thing. So you'll be hearing this organ soon in concerts here at St. Paul's. And by the way, I will be playing this in service on November the 22nd at the 10 a.m. service. So I look forward to playing that uh, particular organ that day. And now I'd like to take you on a little tour inside the instrument. So here you can see the pipes inside, the wooden pipes, and then the metal pipes in the back. These pipes are capped which will make the sound go an octave lower. So that's why the pipes are so small and we can get a nice bass sound. And then you see the trackers in the back. These, this is the mechanical action that brings the keyboard into play with the pipes. This is the inside of the organ. So everyone, here is um, this one manual for the organ. This is the only manual uh, that this particular organ has. The organ at St. Paul's uh, that's in permanently has two manuals. Now here are the stops so I can bring on different sounds and different combinations by pulling them on here. So again if I play middle C, there's middle C. Now I can add it, another stop, goes up an octave, another stop, another octave, and then another stop and it adds a third, it sounds kind of like a reed or a trumpet. So the organ is a very artistic and beautiful instrument. 
it has all of this possibility to it. It just has a, a manual keyboard, but I can add pedals down below, um, but it doesn't make that much of a difference. It's just basically the same sound. So generally, I will stand up and play this instrument uh, when I do play it for concerts. So here I am at the keyboard desk of the organ. Now, I want you to get a chance to hear the sounds of the organ. And so they are in different denominations and they mostly sound like flutes. So this would be considered the A440 or the eight foot pitch of the organ. And remember that I said that the pipes are capped so that the sound sounds an octave lower. But this is the, the basic root of the organ sound now. So that's one stop. That happens to be the stop that's wooden in the front. And now we'll hear another stop that's uh, aluminum and tin behind the wooden pipes. And now this will be combined with the wooden pipes. So we have two octaves going, an eight foot and then a four foot. And it sounds a little bit fuller. This will now be the two foot. We have eight, four, and two. So now we have three octaves playing at one time. Three pipes playing when I play just one note on the key. And now the full ensemble. A fourth rank that's even smaller the size of these pipes would be the size of a pencil, if not smaller. And so this is yet another octave higher, and this makes this, this ensemble much fuller, and uh, you can hear some of the solo sounds here now. So full ensemble now, this is the fullest sound that the organ can make. So everyone, I would like to play very short little examples of pieces by Georg Böhm, who is a German composer from the Baroque period. Once again, I'm going to play just the eight foot stop, this beautiful little flute stop. Um, have a listen. Continuing a little bit with the same piece, but now I'm going to bring on that next stop, which will now bring the sound up an octave higher. And so these are two flutes combined. Have a listen. Enjoy.
So this is the newest organ at St. Paul's Church. I find it to be a beautiful little gem that we have been able to add to our music ministry. I look forward to playing it this Sunday on November the 22nd and for many other occasions for worship and also for concerts. Thank you for listening. <laughs>